The question is, how do we create ethical space in the process that keeps that helps keeps planners and implementation teams on track? How do we create ethical space in the process that helps keep planners and implementation teams on track? So in land use planning, when you want to respect each other's values, it's really important that those values get laid out. And so in any kind of joint planning where there are Indigenous peoples and Crown governments involved, it's really um, the exercise of getting to know uh, each other, getting to understand where the values are rooted from, and to really see what the nature of the relationship is with lands and how responsibility comes in um, is an important consideration in land use plan. Speaking of responsibility, that means that the very premise upon which you plan may change. Um, and so in some cases, when we're planning for resource development, you know, the, the, the idea that that resource development is going to happen is kind of a fait accompli in that exercise. And in many ways, land use planning or land relationship planning, as we prefer to say, um, can allow you to really think um, through the goals of planning and perhaps approach things in a different way. So that if it's not necessarily about exploiting the resource to the maximum of its value, it may be um, that your value in your plan is to exploit the resources at a level that is acceptable um, in terms of its risk to the environment. Um, so those are some examples of how you would integrate and ensure that you have ethical space um, within the process of land use planning between Indigenous peoples and Crown governments.